In 2009, we said goodbye to some of the world's favourite stars, many before their time. The world was shocked in March when Natasha Richardson died after she fell and injured her head during a ski lesson in Quebec. The Tony Award-winning actress initially seemed OK, but hours later she was taken to hospital before being transferred to New York where she died. Aged just 45, Richardson leaves behind husband Liam Neeson and their two sons. Millions of fans around the world mourned after Michael Jackson passed away in June, aged 50, after taking a combination of prescribed drugs to help him sleep. The King of Pop had been suffering from insomnia in the lead-up to his planned sell-out concerts in London. His death was followed by a memorial, a million-pound funeral, legal wranglings over his estate and children, as well as This Is It, a movie made from his tour rehearsal footage. Also in June, Farah Fawcett lost her long battle with cancer aged 62. The Charlie's Angels actress was first diagnosed in 2006 and was helped through her treatment by actor Ryan O'Neill, her longtime companion and the father of her son, Redmond. She revealed the details of her illness in the documentary Farah's Story. Patrick Swayze also lost his fight against the disease. The 57-year-old actor bravely battled pancreatic cancer while continuing to film his TV role in Beast. He opted not to use painkilling drugs at the time because they would have taken the edge off his performance. The Dirty Dancing star passed away in September. Just days before Christmas, 32-year-old actress Brittany Murphy died in Los Angeles. Murphy collapsed in the bathroom of her home and was rushed to the Cedar sinai Medical Center where she was pronounced dead. Her family called their sudden loss a terrible tragedy. Hilary Fox, The Associated Press.